the key point here is it's really the no rain for such a long time because the winds are pretty normal. Um, having a lot of combustible vegetation, yes, that, that chaparral and grassland vegetation is fundamentally very combustible and probably particularly combustible now because there was a relatively moist growing season beforehand. But what, we, what we're also getting on top of this, and I cannot say for sure that this is the case at the moment, but in big fires across the world this does happen, is that the fire generates its own weather. So once the fire reaches a certain size, it sucks, uh, sucks a lot of airflow from the, the, the perimeter of the fire into the fire itself, pushes it up into the atmosphere, and then it basically brings strong dry winds um, on the periphery of the fires that fans the flame even more. The fires need to have a particular size to do this, and as I said, I can't confirm this is the case in this particular fire, but generally when fires do occur, and this has happened in California, that is another factor that makes them more challenging to fight and less, less predictable as well. It is unique, basically, that so many properties have been destroyed so quickly, but this is partly to do with the fact where those fires are burned. The population density and the property density is very high, and let's face it, uh, the, the, it's, it's a very prestigious area, a very affluent area, so it's basically more likely to have a lot of news uh, reporters focusing on this, uh, have Hollywood stars lose their houses. Well, they are insured, you know, it could be far worse. Uh, if you think of Hawaii, for example, the Lahani fires, uh, more than 100 people killed um, very, very rapidly under extremely strong windy conditions. If you look at the cost per person affected by a natural disaster, fires are the most expensive natural disaster on that basis. So insurance companies will certainly want to make sure that they, you know, they are well covered financially. So it probably will become much more um, expensive in some of those areas to insure a future property. But also insurance uh, companies have a role to play in this because if they uh, provide reduced costs for properties that are safer, um, there is certainly a, a not, I wouldn't say a win-win situation, but there's certainly some progress to be made in this. And okay. insurance is is all about money. If if insurance can make enough of a profit from from uh, insuring properties like this, they will do so. Now, what insurance companies, especially big reinsurers, have woken up to is that fire is becoming a much more costly issue. So the way this is looking at the moment is that it will not be the most costly fire disaster in the United States in, in uh, recent decades, but it's probably already the second costly. Across the world since 1980, or the 80s at least, we've had a lengthening of the fire season by 27%. And that's a global average. Now in California, it's been even worse. And this is solely due to climate change. And we know that temperatures are going to increase further. We know that droughts will be becoming more severe. Um, so it's without a doubt that we will have, at least for some time, an, an increasing fire situation, not just in this area of California, but in most areas of the United States. This is, you know, there's no doubt about this.